what's good what's good my fellow fishing planet players it's 2024 a new year and we're now doing a updated guide for trophy bull sharks at the amazonian maze map at this very moment y'all watching me getting hooked up double hooked up right here with two trophy bull sharks and i land both of them back to back so for a minute just enjoy the gameplay and watch what i did here just keep in mind guys this is only the intro of this video or should I say guide. This is my first time fighting a back to back trophy bull sharks. I had no idea they were bull trophies. But when I did get them on stream I was so shocked man. My friend asked me to do a updated guide on the Amazonian maze. I went there on stream and we did the testing live. So guys for the full proof that y'all think I made this up. We have the live stream and we got this video with our audience being there as well. Just watching us slain bull sharks all day. So guys, let's get into the video while you are watching the intro because it's going to take a while. So pretty much last year and this year method is pretty much the same except with the trial rod. After that nerfed, that thing is not working anymore. And when that thing was nerfed as well, the sharks seemed to be biting less and the trophies were less as well. But this year, I don't think it's way better and I think the map might be going back to what it was before. Yes, you guys heard me right. With the testing and what I've seen so far, I can say that the map feels like it's what it was before when the map was in its prime and the sharks was crazy to get. I even expected my friend after this video because I teach him how to rotate, showed him the spot, and with him rotating each spot, he get one trophy in each spot for one day. And that's pretty much like last year. When the trial rod was here and broken as well for trophy bull sharks and guys it wasn't a fluke at this very moment the intro you're watching this is two trophy bull sharks in one spot but before i reached here i had another one in a different spot and it's in this video within the same day and the same peak as well i know this is late into the video but hopefully you guys are still watching and listening so for the recommended bait blood is still a top tier bait Using match rod, you don't need titanium leaders. That's weird. You don't need titanium leaders, you won't get bitten off. If you do get bitten off, at least bring some titanium leaders in the backpack just to play safe. And for the depth, anywhere from 15 to 30 inches depth and it should be good. And here comes one of the most and very important part of the bull shark grind. You definitely need to fish this peak time. Partly sunny, some players might say partly cloudy or overcast. There always been one day and one day only and that's the only day I recommend you all to grind. It's a slant peak time and going up to late evening the peak rises. So from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. I recommend you all to grind and within that time you can fully keep that you can rotate to a different spot and in the end you don't have to wait to use bacon to skip because it will be over in like a blink. Or should I say in a blink of an eye. Now guys as you can see right here the moment I have cast up my rod the fish strike instantly. And no matter where I go the two spots I show in this video. No matter which one I go the bites are just insanely fast. The spot at the boat dock which I did show the spot in this video is the last resort is kind of slow. So I don't recommend it to go there early. I recommend you all to go there late. Now talking about spot and bite rate, at some point a spot will be active for a couple of minutes, maybe an hour. Once that happens, know when to rotate, give yourself a timing. If that time there is no fish bite or the fish stop biting within that time, you move to the next spot. This will take some time to get used to, but once you start grinding and realize what's happening, when the bite rate is fast, when the bite rate is slow, and when there is no bite rate at all, you know then and there that you need to rotate. And guys, there is another thing as well with the boat. Always having your boat facing the direction you're casting. So vertically down the, the river or whatever you're fishing in. Have your boat directly facing down and not sideways or horizontally. Always vertically facing the point where you're casting your bobber. As you all see in this video. I'm not sure how to explain it guys. But there is something in this game about positioning a boat when you're on the boat fishing could be for Nile perch or palmers bull sharks there is a thing where if your boat is not set properly sometimes the bite rate will be slow and nothing will bite as much 
So if you are fishing one day and you realize there is not much battery going on, try to reposition your boat, try to recast and not let your bobber drift too far as well. So guys, you have to pay keen attention to the movement of the boat, the drift of it and the rod as well when it's moving down the water. And while I'm at it, talking about the drift of the boat, let's go to the anchor topic. So at this very moment, my anchor is down because I'm using two rods and a lower fishing rod at the same time. So you guys, you don't have to fish like me. You can if you want. But most times, majority of you guys out there will only have one rod. So never have your anchor down because if it's a big fish, you might want to follow behind it and troll behind it. And that's the easiest and fastest way to land a bull shark in the game. Now guys, I just want to say every day can be a good day farming bull sharks but not every day a trophy shark will be biting and not every day you will get multiple of the same trophy bull sharks either some days will be slow some days will be fast some days will be nothing so guys it's not a constant thing but majority of the days you skip will be active with that said guys i don't think the amazon maze is broken it's still one of the very top tier maps in the game you got bull sharks catfish arpimas trieres fish that are already of grinding and they're still biting up until this day so guys i'm hoping the maps are working for y'all because it's for me my friend as well i have showed him the spots the rotation and he's grinding right now up until this day he's in love with these sharks with that said guys enjoy the video leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have any thoughts and i'll get back to you guys so enjoy the video as i said and i'll see y'all in the next one
Hey, yo, hold up, wait a minute. Did you drop a like and subscribe to the channel as yet? Oh, hell no. If not, now is the time to do so.